Agents like the Minnesota Bureau of Criminal Apprehension and the Clay County Sheriff's Office were alerted of a threat that was targeted to Northwest Minnesota area schools today. The threat put several schools in lockdown, those including Detroit Lakes, Purim, and New York Mills, just to name a few. Students were left wondering what was going on, while many parents opted to take their children out of school early. Valley News Team's Natalie Parsons explains why it's better to be safe than sorry. The sun is setting on a day ending safe and sound. But earlier, parents were notified the Detroit Lake School District issued a code yellow. They had received a, a threat and they were following protocol to make sure all students and staff were safe. Whether it was a voicemail, text message or email, the district said they were on lockdown. Classes and school operations were continuing to go on inside, but anyone looking to enter must be authorized at the door. School districts are put in a position anytime they hear anything um, threatening uh, a student or teachers or staff, um, they need to follow protocol. Other parents had their concerns with this threat being that the notice sent was vague in saying northwestern Minnesota. And in doing their own research, they found that other local public schools were not on lockdown. We're going to worry about the information that we have in Detroit Lakes. And uh, we just felt like because of the, the ambiguity of it all, um, that we would, we would take action. The Detroit Lakes superintendent says law enforcement did not give them specifics on this threat. And now the question of what tomorrow will bring is on the minds of many in this community. We'll be in touch with law enforcement tonight. Um, to make sure has there been any progress made on, on identifying or is there any closure on this um, and then make decisions about are we going to enact code yellow uh, tomorrow morning. In Detroit Lakes, Natalie Parsons, Valley News Live. If you're not signed up for the Detroit Lakes School District notification system, you can find that information at valleynewslive.com. And because this is still a developing story, be sure to stick with us for any updates.